Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl Sakura1 here, back with my Life is Strange Alternate Choices Let's Play. Last time we had to go and get that flash drive. We thought it was in our room, Max thought it was, but it turns out another classmate named Dana had it, so we had to go get it from her, and then there was a fight between her and Juliet that we had to solve, and yeah. But that drama, and yes, typical high school drama, certainly, that's over, thank goodness, for now. And we gotta get to the parking lot, because Warren is waiting for us. So, let's go! So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Oh my goodness. I intervened last time when I played through, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, I feel so bad for doing this. Especially to Kate, but... Mm, I have to change my choice. That's the whole point. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. Horrible as I feel. What side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Oh, I feel so bad right now. So terrible. I'm horrible. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. I deserve that. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm sorry. Man, I had to. Stepped in between Kate and David. At this time. Over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Not this time. My main playthrough I did. <sighs> God, I feel horrible. I'm so sorry, Kate. Ugh. It's so mean, I know. I should have helped, but... I can't. Because I did that already. Okay. Warren should be waiting for us right at the parking lot. Aw, cute squirrel. There's a lot of squirrel optional photos for the trophy, for the platinum. <laughs> Kinda funny. But hey, they're cute. Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. It's alright. Victoria do that to me. Did I talk to her last time? I think I did in my main playthrough. Well, I may as well. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Not a choice, it's oh, just... Hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Yeah, it's just hearing what she has to say. Uh... I won't bother you? I won't bother you, then. I have to go see Warren before he melts. See you. Yeah, I'm sure we'll all be partying later with Zack and Victoria. And the Vortex Club. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Sure. See you around, Max. Wow. I don't feel like talking now, Max. Alright. Yeah, I think if you choose the other option there, Get your ass over here. I'm right here. Oh, that's a missing post. Oh, and there's something else around here. That, I think that's an optional photo. Check it out. Yeah, it is. On the window. I like exploring a little bit. It's been so long since I've played through this game. Oh, is that what I think it is? Yeah! <laughs> I forgot that appears there right now. Anyway, Warren! Come on over here, please. Hey, got your flash drive. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. It's cute. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong <laughs> time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. You can say that. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. 
I'd pay money to see a photo of that. <laughs> hmm. Really? Really? I wish I would have known. Oh, I think I said that last time. Just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. Yeah. Hey, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Oh, could you now? You can draw? You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. Hmm. I'm Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. <laughs> so you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? <laughs> uh... I think I said I've been busy last time I played through this. So I'll say, yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there. From Akira to Twilight Zone? Twilight Zone's actually kinda good. I consider myself a pop... cultural pirate connoisseur. That I does sound better than Thief. Yeah. I've seen uh, Twilight Zone a few episodes. Holocaust. Uh... Seen it? Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Like Twilight? <laughs> sensitive high school boy loves sensitive vampires too? Warren. Oh, sensitive. <laughs> that sounds awful the way you say it. <laughs> uh... Not at all? Not at all. Sensitive is good. Unless you're a pushover. Mm. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Yeah. Noticing, Max. Ooh. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. Max, take a hint. Distracted. The right girl is you. Uh. Need to talk, I guess. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Doctor Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarre experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. Beyond bizarre. Life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Uh-oh. Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. Yeah, I remember when this. Ever. I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. <laughs> tell me what you saw. Now. Answer me, bitch. Hmm. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> Excuse my language. Like I said before. Anything to say, huh? I told you this game was not for children, so. Uh, nothing. Nothing but a butterfly. You're full of shit. I'd respect you more if you told me the truth. I don't need your respect. You're clear. Bam! You have no idea who I Tell am him, Max. what I can do. Actually, I have a pretty good idea of who you are. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Last time I said take a step back, and I love that. Because Max stands up to him. But I'm going to have to say I could call the police. I could call the police. Do it. The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude. Lauren. Oh. Hey, leave him alone. Jerk. But he tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom. No. What a jerk. God, I forgot how annoying he was. Max? Chloe? Chloe! Yes! You again. Go, go, I got this. Her hero. I know everybody. Not a chance, dude. Nobody. Nobody. So long, sucker. As I was saying, I know everybody likes to ship Max and Chloe, understandably, but I still like her and Warren. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Yeah. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. <laughs> thanks, Chloe. Five years are still Max Caulfield. <laughs> Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. She is. I'm seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. 
It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So yeah. What freak want with you? Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Hmm. Lauren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? What did I choose last time? Uh, I guess? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Uh. Hmm. Only for Mark Jefferson. Only I guess. For Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you find a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Oh, Chloe. Uh. Give me a break? Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. <laughs> I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. You're merciless. Yeah, really. Not well for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. Yeah. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Ooh. Oh man, not the camera. Man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. <laughs> not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Oh, uh, my oh, capture card is going crazy. All I did was unplug my charger real quick. I don't know why. My charger loves to mess with my recording. I don't know why. Stupid laptop. I swear. But I should be grateful. I got it as a Christmas gift. So. But I just hate when that kind of thing happens, you know? Something has to go wrong when I record. <laughs> Something. Come on in. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Yeah? Yes, so. I'm hoping it'll settle down on its own, the capture card going weird like that. My apologies! Of course it won't just fix itself. <sighs> Why? My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This is yeah. exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. All right. Some music while I medicate. Yeah, medicate. Okay, one sec. Let me just restart the recording because I ugh, I have to. I don't like it doing that at all. One second. Okay. That's better. My apologies, but it is a simple fix. Just close the window for the capture card and reopen it. Not a problem. Okay. Let's see. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? <laughs> um, not much. Not much. You know me. I like to observe the world more than participate. I can't say I know you anymore. Maybe you love to go clubbing every night. 
Yeah, no, she's not. morons and watch them twitch into a DJ dance death rattle. Photo of that. What? Why can I rewind? I don't remember ever seeing this. Max Caulfield do for Take photos. Take photos of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. Yeah, why well, wouldn't you? Sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. <laughs> Aww. I know my room is a disaster, but you can find a disc. Oh yeah. Um, forget where it was. Oh, now I, I remember now. In there. Glad I still remember. Got it. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Putting it mildly. Ah, uh, Chloe. <sighs> That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Hey, Chloe. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, At least you had someone to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. Yeah. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfoot and into Los Angeles. Wow. That's a big dream. Uh, I see why? I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason number 356 to escape. <laughs> you have a love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know? How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? She just vanished. Everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Oh, Chloe, I'm sorry. I know you've been through a lot. And you're about to go through a lot more. <laughs> no spoilers, of course. Um, let's see. I think I have to turn the power strip on. Right? Where is it, anyway? I want to say it's over here. Somewhere. I'm pretty sure the stereo is off. It won't play without any power. Yeah. Where's your power strip, though? I forget where it is. Where the heck is it? <laughs> Aha, there you are. I knew it was somewhere in that area. There we go. E. There we go. I like this song, Santa Monica Dream. Pretty good. Sad, but good. Anyway, 
You can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Hi, Chloe. <sighs> Poor thing. Well, I think I'm going to stop this part here. And we'll go looking for those, uh, I shouldn't bug Chloe. tiny tools next Plus, time. I need those tools. Yeah, we'll look for those next time, Max. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'm, I've said it before, but I will say it again. I am really having fun just playing through this game again. It's been too long. Really makes me want a season two of this. I really do, but no confirmation of that as of yet. We'll see. But till that happens, and the next part, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.